Hello Gemini, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you are currently thinking about or connecting with at this time. We're gonna look at what their uh, thoughts or feelings are towards you. What are their intentions towards you? Um, we'll use several oracle decks to kind of get this person's energy. All right, so let's jump right in for Gemini. What messages do you have for Gemini? When it comes to love, what messages do you have for Gemini? It's the overall energy for Gemini and love. Here we got honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. What messages do you have for Gemini? What's the overall energy? For Gemini in love. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. I don't know why I'm getting this message, but the message that I'm getting, yeah, okay, I have separation at the bottom of the deck. It's almost like someone wants to go back to the good times or almost like, um, like someone revisiting the past. What's that phrase where it's almost like Take a trip down memory lane. <laughs> that's the that's the the energy that I'm picking up here. Like someone's thinking of the good times. So let's see what's the overall energy here for the past, present, and future for Gemini. Using my Stellar Energy Oracle card deck. This is now available. Uh, links are down below for Gemini. What's the overall energy in love? Past, present, and future energies. Past, present, and future energies for Gemini in love. It's the past energy for Gemini. Past energy. Past energy we have balancing act, juggling indecision, balance, juggling multiple things at once. It's the present energy for Gemini in love. Wishing well, wish, desire, request. Your wish is being granted. Future energy for Gemini. In love. Ooh, we got secret admirer. Intrigue, watchful, attraction. You've caught someone's eye. Interesting. I feel like right now you're trying to manifest something to do with love with a person that you're thinking about um, bottom of the deck I have restoring balance so balancing it's almost like there's something that you wish to make right or something that you wish to come in that is like fair and balanced let's look at what the tarot message is I'm gonna clarify these energies for Gemini in love. I feel in the past, it's like maybe you've been busy or the person you've been dealing with is busy. Like someone possibly has been having to make a certain decision for Gemini. Past, present, future energies for Gemini, please. Let's see what we get, Gemini. In the past, we have Six of Swords Reverse. Okay. Present energies, we have Eight of Swords and Three of Coin. Move these up. And in the future energies, we have Seven of Cups. With the Six of Swords reversed, someone wants to, again, I'm just getting the sense of someone wanting to go back. They left a situation and now they want to return to the situation with the Six of Swords reversed. 
And in the present energy, I have the Three of Coin and the Eight of Swords. So mentally, someone could be feeling like they are stuck or maybe they're overthinking a situation. Maybe they, they don't see a way out. Maybe they're, they're paralyzed by their fear. Um, but with the Three of Coin here, it's like there's something being worked on. Maybe there's a group of people that are helping someone. We'll see when I clarify. Um, this could be working together on something. This could be work related. There could even be three people involved. I have three in this card. And typically in the traditional tarot, um, not typically in the traditional tarot art, the three of pentacles has three people in the picture. So I feel like right now there's something being worked on. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to clarify that and see. And then in the near future, we have the Seven of Cups. So options, choices, also illusions, dreams. I have this under secret admirer. So I feel like someone's like trying to make a choice, like trying to make a decision here, trying to figure something out, which cup to choose regarding someone that they're secretly admiring. Bottom of the deck and the overall energy, we have the Seven of Wands. Okay, so this is kind of like resistance, um, fighting for something that you believe in, standing firm, facing whatever challenges are like appearing or showing, whatever obstacles or challenges there are in the way someone's dealing with them like head on. So let's clarify. Let's get some more information here for Gemini. Tell me more spirit. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. This is Seven of Wands here. Empress. I feel like someone's fighting for their opportunity to manifest or grow. Perhaps they're fighting for an Empress here. What's the Seven of Wands about? What I'm getting to is someone standing up for themselves because they recognize their worth, their value. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands. Knight of Swords Reverse. Interesting. Can I get one more for the Seven of Wands? Ace of Pentacles Reverse. Okay, so bottom of the deck, I have the Knight of Pentacles. So what I'm getting here, it's almost like someone's fighting to have an opportunity or bring an opportunity forward. This Empress could be in the way of this opportunity just because I have all these other cards, Knight of Swords Reverse, Ace of Pentacles Reverse. Um, I'm also getting like someone fighting for their happiness or fighting for this opportunity i feel like um there's people that aren't on their side about that there could be financial difficulty for them there could be a commitment that is broken um there could be some sort of loss for them king of swords but i think they're going to cut this out um they know this if this is something that you know, it's like it's like they're they're in the right frame of mind to deal with this. Whoever this is, this could be you or your person, Gemini. Fighting for what you believe in, standing firm, standing your ground, having courage. But this person doesn't just have courage. They know exactly how to deal with a problem or they know what type of um, decision they would need to make. Tell me about the Six of Swords Reverse. What's this about? Princess of Wands, Page of Wands here. And notice how this person looks like they're waiting for someone. Tell me about the Six of Swords Reverse. Like she's like on the lookout. And the Fool, wow. Yeah, this is like someone wanting to return to have a new beginning. There could be a risk they're taking to communicate with this 
um, page of wands and the fool. It could be like a risk to talk to this person or send a message. But someone wants a new beginning here. And this beginning is, is going to start with some sort of return. Um, it could also be that someone is, um, maybe they are blocked or delayed from leaving a situation as well. Um, tell me about the Six of Swords reverse. Four of Swords. Yeah, it could be that someone is um, slow with the Four of Swords. Thinking a lot about something, wanting to heal something possibly here with the Four of Swords. Bottom of the deck, I have the star. So this is someone that could be wanting to come back to heal a situation, to have a new beginning. Maybe they've already done whatever healing they're they're thinking about. And the star is also a card about self-love, self-care. Maybe this is someone that's thinking of themselves now. Uh, what makes them happy? Um, maybe, you know, this is a wish that they have. So why the eight of swords with the three of coins? Why is the Eight of Swords with the Three of Coins? The Devil. Capricorn Energy. Why is the Three of Swords with the... Um, not the Three of Swords. The Eight of Swords with the Three of Coins there. Wow, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so this is a story that I'm getting. Can I get one more, please? Eight of Swords, Three of Coin. The World Reverse. And then bottom of the deck, I have the Seven, I mean, not bottom, yeah, bottom of the deck, I have the Seven of Wands again. Now in this deck, it looks like they're preparing for a storm or setting some sort of barrier to protect themselves from the flood. Uh, very defensive energy here with this, this deck. What I'm seeing here is someone possibly, um, I'm getting like two messages, so take what resonates here. But what I'm seeing is someone that's very like, there's a there's a lot of hot chemistry, sexual chemistry over someone they admire, the Nine of Pentacles. That secret admirer card is coming to me now because the Nine of Pentacles in the traditional deck, it's someone that's very established, successful, beautiful. Um, and then I have it here with the devil in this deck, <laughs> you know, it's like very like, saucy <laughs> deck so i feel like this is someone that has is a very powerful connection here i'm also getting someone becoming free the nine of pentacles is someone that's very independent they can do everything on their own they don't need anybody else um and you know maybe they were in a situation with the eight of swords and the devil where they felt stuck or constricted held back um and now they're becoming free doing things on their own so I'm getting those two messages. Um, then I have the world reverse. So this is something that's not over. Something that didn't have closure. A cycle that hasn't completely ended. So it's almost like someone's still not over someone here. Um, maybe they've been resisting this all this time. These feelings, um, these thoughts that they've had. Yeah, the high priestess right behind the seven of wands. So this is someone that has probably kept this to themselves. Maybe there hasn't been a lot of communication here. There's been literally like a block here. I don't know if it's a block that you have put in place, like you've literally blocked this person, or someone has kind of like blocked themselves from speaking up about what they feel here. So this is very interesting energy. I wanna get one more. Can I get one more? Oh my God, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So a big change here. So the wheel is coming to um, maybe bring someone what they desired with the Wishing Wall card here. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Earth sign. I have, well, I have every sign here, actually. <laughs> I have air, I have Earth, I have fire. Water is missing. I don't have water here. But anyways, um, that's neither here nor there. I feel like there's some sort of um, lucky break happening here with the Wheel of Fortune. 
uh, divine timing for some of you. And I think you had a, a reading recently, Gemini, where spirit was very involved in the way that things were unfolding. So this could be a continuation of that reading. Some sort of big change, like serendipity here. It, it, it's almost like there's, there's something that's going to be... Um, and this is happening now in the present. So, of course, time is fluid, but... For this reading, I have this right here in the present. So, hmm. A lucky break. Something on your side or something fortunate. So what's the Seven of Cups about? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Five of Cups reverse. So someone recovering from a loss, overcoming the past recuperating what they've lost. Why is the Seven of Cups here? The moon. Pisces energy where there's water. The moon. Again, like a secret. Like this is like a secret desire. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. I don't know if this is you secretly desiring to be with someone or or maybe this person that you are thinking about or in a connection with of some sort. Maybe you're mirroring each other. Can I get one more for the Seven of Cups? Five of Swords Reverse. This is about making something right. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit, Virgo Energy. Again, like a distance with this hermit card like someone is thinking a lot about you about this connection about options they might have look at this the ten of pentacles right after that they're thinking of like i feel the distant future so let's get some quick cards here what are the challenges or blocks to this connection, Sarah, for Gemini. Where are the challenges or the blocks? What are the challenges or the blocks to this connection? The sun reverse, something hidden, yes. What are the challenges or the blocks to this connection? Ace of coin reverse, financial difficulty, a loss, a missed opportunity, a broken commitment. Can I get one more, please? What are the challenges or the blocks to this connection? King of cups. This is, um, hmm. King of cups with the queen of swords reverse and the knight of wands reverse. So I feel like um, there's a lot of love, but it isn't communicated. Uh, maybe someone has been just de deceiving themselves or hasn't been fully open or honest about the feelings they have. And I feel like that's blocking this connection. Can I get one more about this moon? So in the near future, what I see is someone wanting to reconcile here. With the Five of Swords reverse and the Five of Cups reverse, but with the Moon, I feel like this is hidden. Tell me about this Moon. Eight of Wands reverse. Yeah, and there's no communication. I don't know if you blocked this person or if someone's just prevented from. Okay, so it's not the right time. Temperance reverse. It's not the right time, and I feel like Page of Pentacles is here. So they're still working on something, planning. Planning in secret. Yeah, I feel like this is something that's in, that's just, someone's really be with the hermit, with the moon, with the king of swords. Whoever this is, they're very careful. You could be dealing with an earth sign. They're very careful. Sagittarius energy here with the temperance card reverse. I feel like there's something that's still being balanced for this person or you are trying to still fix something or balance something in your life. And I think this person, they haven't taken any action until they can make sure 
that they'll have something to give you. Whether it's complete and total honesty, whether it's being completely independent of anything that's keeping them bound, whether it's moving, you know, to be closer, closer to you, whatever it is, um, I feel like someone wants to make sure that it's going to end up just right before they talk to you. Thank you so much for watching, for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And I hopefully will see you in another video. Take care.